Good morning, class family. It's a thankful Thursday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start with the date. November 30th, 2023. Dear class family, today is Thursday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will do literacy centers. Then we will share our thinking about a book. Last, we will do writing workshop. It is a great day. Love, Miss Joyner. Oh, it is a great day. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Let's look back and reread the message. Remember, good readers read things again. It's called rereading. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start with today's date. I noticed the abbreviation for the month with a capital letter N-O-V period. What does that abbreviation stand for? We'll say it out loud. If you said November, you're right. And we are on the last day in November. Let's go ahead and reread the date. And as we're rereading the whole message, we will read from left to right and top to bottom. That's what good readers do. So as you're using your finger to point, have your eyes follow along from left to right and top to bottom. November 30th, 2023, dear class family, today is Thursday, it is Thursday, and it's a thankful Thursday. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, as true class family, we do that every day to work on being a portrait of a graduate. And we're practicing being a great communicator and collaborator in kindergarten. Remember, good communicators speak clearly with their mouths and listen with their ears. All right, let's go ahead and see the order of what we're doing this morning in language arts. First, next, then, and last. First, we will learn letters and sounds. All right, we'll learn letters and sounds. We'll use lots of resources, including our word wall. I see the foundations cards on here. Remember, we're gonna review letters, sounds, pictures to match the word, American Sign Language. Shout out to some YouTube channels, Jack Hartman's Mr. B's, The Singing Walrus, The Learning Station. We'll be using your channels today in addition to others. Okay, on this resource, vowels have read in the background. Review vowels with me at this time, kindergartners. A, apple, a, e, ed, e, i, itch, i, o, octopus, a, and u, up, a. In addition to our word wall, we use our sound wall as a resource, and we're using you fly. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be re reviewing the letters, sounds, and pictures match that word. We're gonna be tapping out some words because we're doing da da da, -da phonemic awareness. So we're gonna figure out what the beginning, middle, and ending sound is of the word and say it out loud. We're gonna be doing that. We're also going to spell together and we're gonna read sentences and add another decodable text to our reading journal. So we're gonna be doing all that, and if we have time today, we're gonna to put that in our reading journal today. If not, then we'll I'll glue it in tomorrow. Okay, so next we will do literacy centers. We will, we're gonna do literacy centers. You know we always go on our iPads for dun da da Lexi Core 5 reading program. You're gonna log on independently, pump your brains with knowledge, and pass some units to meet your target. All right, we have today and tomorrow to meet your goals. So let's see if we can do that. We'll also look at the Lexia data to see how far you've come and what else you need to accomplish to meet your goal for this week. Okay, oh, we're also gonna do some box centers within the room. So you're gonna be able to build CBC words or do sounds that have be with puzzles with the beginning sound or ending sound. We also have lowercase letter matchup on the trays. And today's your final day to read your November pattern book before you bring it home in your communication folder. So we're gonna go ahead and reread that November book with all of the pattern sentences that repeat with I like at the beginning of each sentence. 
last, oh, then we will share our thinking about a book. We will remember good readers read books and share their thinking. So we're gonna practice being a great communicator and collaborator as we share our thinking and listen to others. Last we'll do writing workshop. We will, we're gonna do writing workshop and in part of writing workshop, we are gonna revisit the message this afternoon after we've um, gone over things in the morning. Later on today, we'll be able to go through and circle all of the uppercase letters, including all the ones that begin each telling sentence, as well as some others within the message. And we're going to be circling punctuation marks like periods, question marks, exclamation points, and commas. So anything that we see within the message that's an uppercase letter or a punctuation mark, we'll be circling both of those things. And we're gonna use one color for uppercase letters and another color for punctuation marks. It's gonna be great. Okay, and also during writing workshop, you're gonna have another chance to uh, be able to choice write. So after we do that within the message, you're gonna have an opportunity to do that with your resource. It is a great day. Oh, it is a great day. You know, it's fantastic. Get your fans ready, fantastic. Our do you like question for today is, do you like Mickey and Minnie Mouse? Well, <laughs> do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share your reason why. Do you like Mickey and Minnie Mouse? 